On behalf of TVLesson.com, my name is Ganapati, and I'm a yoga instructor here at Synergy Center for Yoga in North Miami Beach. Let's talk about diet and yoga, really. We all stuff our faces as much as we can with what, fast foods and takeouts. When the reality of it all, if you were just to concentrate a moment of your life, just for a minute, to think of what you stick in your mouth, is so important. Living a vegetarian diet is not as hard as most people think. And sometimes they feel like, oh, you know, can I eat fish? I can't eat meat. Oh my God, what am I going to do? And it's not really about that. It's about having the discipline, remembering that your body is a temple. And why are you going to ruin it with like greasy food and, and, and nasty stuff? So the best way for me that works is having, living a vegetarian diet. Vegetarian diet doesn't consist of just eating lettuce. You're not a rabbit. It's about integrating grain, wheat, corn, all the stuff that we need to survive. And I mean, the best way to really get the protein that you need is all in lentils, quinoa, uh, beans, any type of beans. And these allows us to really live a healthy life. The practice of yoga and diet is essential. They actually go hand in hand because with a good diet, you're able to purify and to release all the toxins out of your body from years of beating it up. So my suggestion is to start out slow. It won't be easy and it's going to be a little difficult to really keep up a vegetarian diet. But with time, once again, consistency and keeping a strong focus that I don't want to hurt another living being. Another living being needs animals. You know, and being conscious of what you stick in your mouth, you're actually creating a healthier body for yourself and then those around you.